Blood Primer is here, Soma Laboratory, and I can present to you our new product, new gear. This is Pulsar 23 Utilities. This is a kit of additional modules and functions for Pulsar 23, uh, our uh, also modular organismic sequencer ornament, and also you can use it for any audio equipment that works with CV or something like this. So the core idea of this device is uh, a bunch of uh, simple but uh, useful modules that razor like additional help to your work than uh, sound source or function itself, like complex function itself. So that is why uh, we call it utilities. So something like additional to the main gear. So what we have here. So it can be divided on uh, two parts. The first part is simple functions, for example, like uh, robust switches with CV connectors. So you can use it for playing anything you want. So uh, it's like old style lever and it's uh, impossible to break. So you can hit it, you can play it fast without uh, worrying that you can break it or it will have a uh, small lifetime. So the next module is array of sensors. So you can connect it to different points, points of Pulsar 23 or your Eurorack system. So it has also uh, adapter to Eurorack mini jacks. And you can use body patching in easy way. So it's, uh, you can use one arm to patch different signals that may be in uh, Pulsar 23 on, or your Eurorack system distributed across a big area of your panel, so it's not comfortable to play using one hand. So the next one is two photo resistors, so you can control CV signals using light. So you can either uh, have a, a small light in your, like pocket light in your hand, or you can just wave your hands over using natural light that is in your room. So also we have four attenuators. So this is like one of ideas in Pulsar 23 for don't make the panel too busy and big. We have separate attenuators. So if you need to decrease some signal, it's like level is too high, you can just use assignable attenuators and uh, decrease signal as you will, as you want. So also as I mentioned, we have here uh, adapters from Eurorack mini jack to pins, pulsar style, ornament aid style pins that you can connect using crocodiles, alligator clips. Also, we have here just two indicators, so you can uh, visualize any signal in your system. And uh, the rest of the simple functions is uh, four adjustable amplifiers. So it's often when you need to amplify CV signal or audio signal. For example, you have some small gear, uh, patchable gear that has output of five volts CV like 5 volts, but you need 12 volts or 15 volts, then you can amplify it using these four identical amplifiers. Or, for example, you need to connect uh, old tape recorder to Pulsar 23 or Eurorack system, and you need to gain this audio signal up to Eurorack level. So. Uh, there is different modes, so it has like uh, simple AC or DC mode, so AC for uh, something like audio signal and DC for CV, so it can pass constant voltage, uh, direct current through this amplifier and also you can make something in between, let's call it like uh, experimental modes and uh, this way you can uh, make some strange uh, experimental amplification with uh, unusual curves and so on. So also here we have inverting inputs, so you can not only amplify a signal, but you can also invert CV or audio if you need. 
and the next modules is modules that uh, not a simple function but a something uh, something uh, between uh, volt controllable amplifier wave shaper distortion something like this so the first is like clipping amplifier so i have to say that uh, all of these uh, amplifiers wave shapers are built in in a spirit of uh, old circuitry like the first part of 20th century. So I really adore uh, this early approach where uh, simplicity combined with rich and very individual sound, like sound of the early synthesizers, uh, analog synthesizers. So this is clipping amplifier that have uh, control voltage and this is actually power supply so this power consumption is, is very low so CV uh, this controls amplification and amount of harmonics is also uh, supply power for this its circuitry and also it has two inputs one output and you can uh, use two inputs together and make a kind of cross modulations when one signal will distort another one so here we have uh, two diode VCAs, so it was used quite quite intensive in first uh, synthesizers like uh, first theremins, theremin vox. So it's like let's say passive VCA. It doesn't require power supply, but CV defines uh, how much these diodes are open and uh, how much signal can uh, can pass uh, passes through these diodes so it uh, has also very strong character it's not so linear like contemporary vcas but uh, i love it because of its uh, unique sound and character and uh, i hope uh, our users will find it interesting uh, for make not only uh, controllable amplification but also simultaneously produce rich warm sound with uh, a lot of harmonics and the last module is a uh, warp it's called warp it's a wave shaper that have a negative part of slope slope so you can uh, make it in mode like usual overdrive like clipping amplifier but also you can go uh, at its maximum and then it will start produce negative part of its curve and also it can be driving using external modulation audio or CV signal and then you can uh, make something like a complex mix of ring modulation, uh, something like this. So also very interesting module if you need to get a rich harmonics, a lot of rich harmonics. And the last module is uh, single parts and so like uh, three capacitors that can be useful if you need to make um, some simple filtering or uh, block DC when you uh, use some signal and also pulse converters so if you have some uh, square signal and you need to create short impulse triggering sing uh, signal for example for triggering pulsar uh, drum modules so we have two additional such converters here so this is uh, the explanation what utilities is uh, it will be available on the market within several months. So welcome to buy, welcome to use. It's like part of Soma family of Pulsar 23 ecosystem. But as I said, it also can be used separately for any gear that uh, has CV uh, control. So thank you, Vlad Kramer, Soma Laboratory.